somebody gonna open up a kosher Mexican? <laughs> Lenny will someday, son. Very rarely have we seen like the kind of Mexican late night Chipotle-esque Taco Bell stoner mishmash that we've been waiting for. Tonight we've uh, traveled many, many, many miles all the way across the country to sit here tonight in the Pico Robertson area. Yeah. Uh, Lenny's Casita, Pico Robertson area. Los okay. Angeles. Sorry, I bring him. Finally, Odulashem Kitov, HDL, TKH, GBG. Plus. <laughs> the idea of kosher Mexican to me was a frozen chalupa uh, in a freezer in the Midwest. And a chalupa is a fried corn tortilla with their, what they put inside this one. Uh, this is a short rib. So we have some sort of red, some sort of green? Yeah. It's not a chalupa, it's a taquito. I meant taquito! You said taquito. The idea of kosher Mexican to me was a frozen chalupa, chalupa, chalupa. Case in point, I never know what I'm talking about. I make it up every single time. 7-Eleven so, style. That's what I'm saying. I knew what this was from a 7-Eleven. I never ate it, but I knew what it was. Beef cheek chalupa. That's not a chalupa. Oh, this is a chalupa. This is a chalupa, not a taquito. So this is a great example of a great braising meat. So this is something that's done a lot in this cooking. It's slow cooking, you cook the beef for a long time. A use of spice that's not meant to be like spicy kill you, it's meant to be warmth and then all the other flavors explode. When I say fruity, legit fruity, like it tastes like a fruit. Brisket nachos. Hey, I want a bowl of everything. Okay, here you go. <laughs> See, I think we should start our own improv group. What are we eating here? The guac, the pico, um, your brisket. It's house smoked brisket. The real reason you get something like this is because it has all the flavors. You need to have your beans, you always have your frijoles. You have your guacs, you have your beautifully cut pico de gallos. Pico de gallo is there for its... Freshness. Freshness, very good. Well, this is a crunch wrap supreme. It is perhaps Perfectly acceptable California Mexican cooking. It's a tortilla with another smaller uh, corn tortilla wrapped inside, and in between those two things is just a haberdash of Greek a Mexican item. What I have here is a fully satisfactory, following the bong Taco Bell style, but kosher. And that's our goal today, is to tell the story of this accessible kosher made by a guy who keeps kosher, grew up keeping Mexican, and understands late night, and doing it in a beautiful theater in California. Oh yeah. You know burritos? I know burritos. It's got everything in there, and we know that it's supposed to be fully satisfactory. There's something to be said about that California massive burrito. That's a real thing here. A key element is the freshness, the vibrant, you know, that you would find in California a lot or in Los Angeles a lot, especially in kosher. The fact is, this is like killer, killer, supreme. There's something called a barrera. Barrera. Birria. Barrera. Birria. Barrera. What it is, it's a beautifully braised beef and it's served in this broth and you drop your crunchy and it's a taco, crunchy taco. And the consomme is the, mo is the most important part of your barrera, right? It's that great red broth. And it's all about that slurping. The idea is, is that the broth here is slick and sticks to your mouth and it's rich and fat and it's hot, just like a ramen broth. And that is what we are doing today. We are slurping our birririririas, right? but this time with the ramen. The broth itself is, is always, it's always gonna be so rich, so perfect, so strong. Yeah. It carries everything else together. The broth is the full body of it. These are just the parts. It always pays to know a guy. It's the only reason I do this, because when you know a guy, he brings out the fancy fireworks and dessert. My menu is very munchy friendly, I would say, okay? It's kind of like what you come up with in your <laughs> dreams. That's why you like my food so much, bro. That's why Who you... am I to know? <laughs> so this is the combination of a Belgian waffle and a churro. It's a real tough job, I'm telling you, man. Lenny's casita is is 
telling us, uh, listen, the Mexican guys in the kitchen are going to cook Mexican food and just have a good time. It just happens to be kosher, and we're going to crush it. This place is officially dank. Lenny's Casita Pico de Gallo. Ah, oh, we've been waiting years to say that joke. Pico de Gallo, California. It's raining tacos from under the sky. Tacos, don't even know why. Ba 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 tacos. Oh, 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 oh,